What is going on guys? Welcome to your 20th Ruby tutorial and in this lesson I want to talk to you guys about something called constants. Now constants are similar to variables but whenever I try to explain these to people I say this constants are variables whose values don't change. What the heck does that mean? Well say that we created a variable called tuna and we set it equal to 18. Then we can go ahead and use that variable in our program, print it out on the screen if we want and it prints out 18. But then later on we're like, you know what, actually I wanted that tuna variable equal to 34. So Ruby says, okay, no problem, I'll just change the value of it and then we can use it from now on and the new value is 34. So basically a variable is a placeholder and we could change the value of it whenever we want. However, there are often times whenever you're building a computer program where you want something to be a placeholder of a value but you don't want the value to change. For example, whenever you're making the variable pi, you want to set this equal to 3.14 or 159, and you want to set this forever. The value of pi never changes, and basically you don't want the user to accidentally change your variable, you don't want any other programs to change your variable. So you don't want to treat this as a normal variable. So what we want to do is we want to store this value right here in pi, but we don't want it to be able to change. Anytime you want to write a variable like this, we want to create a constant. Now whenever you're creating a constant, this is how you do it. It's very easy. Instead of just naming a variable anything, you need to start it out with a capital letter. So if you create a variable like this that starts with a capital letter, you're actually creating a constant. Now let's go ahead and set Bucky equal to 25 because that's my age. And it looks like we're just creating a variable, but we are indeed creating a constant. How can we prove this? Well, let's just go ahead and try to run this baby. So print Bucky. Okay, it runs fine. But now let's go ahead and try to change the value of Bucky. We say, okay, actually, Bucky isn't 25. He's actually only 12 years old. So now we're just going to go ahead and change the value. No big deal. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the heck is this? Well, whenever we try to change it, Ruby's pretty much going to yell at us. It will let us change the value, but we're going to get a warning. says, hey, dude, you already initialized the constant Bucky, which pretty much means you already created a constant Bucky and you weren't supposed to change the value. You promised me you wouldn't change the value, so why the heck did you change the value? And it just gives us a hard time about it. So that's the difference between variables and constants. While, and I want to mention this, because a lot of people who learn other programming languages are going to get confused about this because it's different in Ruby than other ones. Whenever you create a constant in basically any other computer language and you try to change the value then your computer program is basically gonna shut down and give you a bunch of error messages and it'll stop running however in Ruby what happens is it does indeed change the value so the new value of Bucky is indeed 12 it just gives you a little warning so that's a key thing about Ruby where you have to remember and that's one of the things that separates it from other programming languages so now whenever we try to print Bucky out on the screen we can see that the new value is indeed 12 and our computer program didn't get destroyed or anything it just gives us a hard time about it and warns us whenever we change the constant so again guys remember whenever you have a variable that's value is going to change start it out with a lowercase letter and whenever you want to make constants such as pi and a lot of math numbers that are like constants of course start those out with capital letters so anyways thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video